Okay, so here we are looking at a page on Symbaloo. Let's say that this is the page of tiles that I want to share with my students. In this case, I've got a number of web sites that I normally share with teachers when I'm doing training. But let's pretend that I've created a Symbaloo page of math sites or a Symbaloo page of language arts, whatever subject I'm teaching, science, uh, career technical, whatever. And I have put together these tiles of information for students where um, they will have access to, if not everything, pretty much everything they need for my class this year. And I might even put them in order. I can color code these tiles so that I might put certain colors they need for the first nine weeks and other colors that they need for the second nine weeks and so forth. I can, I can edit these tiles in a number of ways uh, to make them work. But I want to share this. So when I go up here to Web Mix Details, I get the URL for this particular web page. And I can just simply email that to students. I can um, put it on an Edmodo page with a link. I can embed the link into a website that I use with kids, a wiki, whatever I'm using to get information to students. I can put this out there. They can open it up. Now, if they're on a laptop, they're on a desktop, all they have to do is open the page up and set it as a bookmark where they can come back to it anytime they want. They can set it as their home page. In our school, we're an all Apple school, so we're going to be using iPads, one-to-one -one iPads with students. So I'm going to show you what that looks like on the iPad and then also uh, show you just briefly the fact that there is an app for the iPhone that will also keep these and allow the students to see them on their phone if they want to access websites remotely that way. So let's take a look first of all at what it looks like with the iPad. Okay, so you can see on the screen here I have my iPad and you can see on the screen what I'm looking at. And here is the Symbaloo page. All of the, uh, all the links are here. Um, and all I have to do at this point, is if I'm a student and I've opened this page up, I, my teacher wants me to keep it, I just simply click this little arrow up here at the top and I tell it that I want to add it to my home screen. And so I can rename it if I need to, and we'll just call it uh, Symbaloo, and we will add it. Now, I have this app right here, and I will just kind of move it around the screen so you can see it. And if I want to put that on the first page, I can. Anytime I want to go to the the link that my teacher sent me to using class, all I have to do is click that link, boom, it comes straight up. And I can uh, begin to see all of the links that are here for that Symbaloo page. So that's how it works on the iPad. Now let's close that out and let me show you what the app looks like really quickly on the iPhone. Okay, so here we have the uh, iPhone and you'll see down here in the lower left hand corner my app for Symbaloo. And if I open that app, Symbaloo will come up and you will see that I have got all of the web pages that I have saved. And here is the EDU tools page that I just shared. And it comes up with tiles for every single web page that I need to go to. And again, if this were something that I shared as a teacher to my students, even on their phone, whether it's the iPhone or Droid, um, there is an app for Symbaloo and it's free. And so they can get to web pages, even if they don't have Wi-Fi, they can use this over their phone on the data plan. So that's Symbaloo. We can look at um, other alternatives in person if you want to do that. Send me an email. We'll talk about how to go in and manipulate things. But I hope that you see that this is a, a really cool website and it is a great tool to put all the resources that you have for your students into their hands at one time and you never have to go back and do anything else. So that's Symbaloo. Let me know what you think.